All right, traders, what's going on? My name is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Today, we've got a very cool video by Aloha Trader, real name Austin, in MIC chat, one of our moderators put together. And specifically, it's on ticker symbol P I N S. Pinterest IPO, and it's a large cap short daily recap, which is also a trade recap. And while this is just a preview, if you want to watch the full length video or any of our full length exclusive content, then become an exclusive member of MIC. All right, let's check it out. Hey, everybody, Austin here. I'm going to be doing another trade recap. But before I do, I want to say I'm not licensed, I'm not registered, I'm not a financial advisor, and none of this should be taken as investment advice, even if it sounds like it. Okay, so I got a good one for you guys today. Um, I traded pins today or yesterday if you're watching this or whatever. I traded it here on the uh, 30th. And this was a recent IPO, Pinterest. And it there was we kind of had a flurry of IPOs that kind of went up. We had Tiger and Soli, JMIA and pins. We kind of just had a lift. We kind of just had a flurry of IPOs, and I, for the most part, I stayed away from from them. I think I hit JMIA, JMIA for a short, uh, similar to this one. And this is a co- kind of a common pattern that I see with IPOs: is that they'll a lot of the times, or some of the times, they'll, they'll like go up, 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 and everyone everybody knows that they're going to come down eventually or pull back eventually. But you know the question is when, and this one kind of squeezed. This one was really good because you can see it squeezed out a lot of people um, up, and especially on this this big day here, probably everyone was thinking that today was going to be the day that it came down, and it just squeezed everybody out. And this is the day, this parabolic action, this this um, this candle with twice the range that all the other candles had, really put it on my radar as like, hey, tomorrow might be the day. You know that we can get a <clears throat> that we could get a, a pullback or a, a correction or um, some kind of short on the name. So uh, this is a very classic uh, pattern. I'll, you know, <clears throat> Bao talks about this a lot. It's called the first red day setup, uh, and it, I think it's I think it stems from his OTC trading days, where uh, the first red day is the 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 time to attack after multiple green days in a row and then it kind of switched in this was the first red day it worked the same for small cap stocks it was the first red day the first time the stock went red so here we are at the open Let's zoom in here we uh we we tank right here out of the open and I and I get a small little feeler on I was actually trying to get 3480 and my Corsair wasn't plugged in, so I I, I had to settle for um, a little lower price, so I just got my feet wet. But then I got the 80s again, and so I was able to put my risk on. And right here, my risk is is definitely going to be on this 35.50 over and under level. Because at pre-market here, this is kind of where I'm expecting it to rip, or I'm hoping, I'm honestly hoping that it rips, because then I can feel comfortable shorting into that parabolic, because I would really feel that's the top then. But um, when we when when we put this base in here pre market and tanked it at the open, I knew immediately that this was my risk because this was the breakdown. This is where we could not go higher from on the day after the big range day. So um, you know, I did put a little bit of a short on here, not the best entry, not a um, little bit of a chase because I missed my entry here. But I fixed it, got you know got the, got a nice bounce off of this uh, prior close the very first time. Very fortunate for this bounce. Was able to get here back into the 80s um, with a solid risk on this 35.25 level. Over and under, I was willing to give it a little bit of wiggle room. Definitely stopping out over 36. Definitely over 36. Like that's the ultimate stop. But I'm willing to give it wiggle room. And the the main risk is here is this 35.25 level where it based. So I get a short. I get another. I get my add on, and now it's just gravy. I'm just you know now I'm really. Um, I'm expecting it to go back and test prior close because this is going to be the the first red day. Can it hold? Like when we tank out of the open on a day where you know everyone's looking for the top uh, and people have have yet to take profits prior close. The where it's going to go from green to red on the day is a very 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 highly watched time. 
Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.